Message of the day. We have hero, heroine, light attributes, passion for a journey of personal empowerment, shadow attribute, escapism, and a false sense of heroism. With the back of the deck energy being monk slash nun, light attributes, selfless devotion, and single-minded dedication to spirit. With shadow attributes, negative judgment, of the physical world, excess pity. So from this, these two cards, I'm feeling like for all of you, it's going to be different what this is referring to, but I feel like for most of you, it's career related and going in a way where, um, where you want to become, if you're not already, um, an entrepreneur and have your own business and I feel like for most of you it's um, creative related and I feel like you're you're having um, not enough confidence towards yourself in pursuing this but also um, in your own opinions uh, uh, towards yourself of um, being able to make your own decisions and um, lead the way for yourself. And I feel like you're, you're also trusting in people over other people over yourself. And there might be some um, people in your life who... Um, don't have the best um, intentions for towards you, but not for all of you. I feel like some of them have think that they're giving you their best advice and want the best for you, but spirit wants you to know that only you know that and that you need to trust in yourself more. And also, um, they're trying to help lead you as well. Um, send you signs and um, into the best direction for yourself, but you may be um, putting them off or not seeing them and They want you to if you're not already asking for help from them to Look to them for help But also if you are looking for help from them that there's um, the need to be careful with the balance of um the practical and spiritual to not look at look at them too much but also pay attention to the balance of looking too much within and not looking outside as well you need to consider all sides um not not saying that you should follow outside sources more but consider them and work with them um, in order to make your own decision. And I think that would be best for you. Also, with this comes along with, with the confidence thing, your self-confidence is to not, when things go wrong, to be careful of really giving yourself a hard time and throwing it all away um, because one little thing went wrong um, because that's gonna happen anyways even if you're you're meant to do this and you're meant to be the best uh, in this field or um, walk this path or not you're you're going to have those challenges anyways and um to not see it in that negative of a of a setting if you are if you are following that path of um of how you want how you want to live your life and not caring what other people think or um, t too much about what they think, um, and if you're, 
if none of that is really an issue for you, then this is Spirit's way of saying to keep going and, and keep following the way that um, you're going, but to also still be careful of, of um, that imbalance of what I was talking about. Because that can still come up, even if you're doing a really good job. Um, so, yeah. Also, I want to look in the book. Also, be careful of, um, if things get you down about uh, following this path, and you, you feel, like, um, helpless and... You don't know what to do. Um, be careful of isolating yourself too much and getting into a negative mindset. Also, don't be afraid to ask for help um, from others in all ways possible towards your mental health and dealing with things. Um, but also dealing with this, but... Like I said, you need to be careful with, um, trust yourself, um, most, but also it's okay to work with others as well, just to have that healthy balance. 